My name is Adele Sarand, and I come from Massachusetts, from Boston. And we've been here, though, for 30 years. Seems a long time. Anyway, I have five children, 11 grandchildren, and uh, but I'm a painter, and I have been all my life, and also a poet. Christopher was wonderful. He was actually my teacher for two years. So I, I was a firm believer in slam poetry, wanted to be one, and uh, actually ended up, I think it was one of his very last uh, times when he was the, mm -mm, the wonderful buffoon and host for the slam. I basically have always been surrounded by flowers and, and paintings. My family were all painters, except for my father, who was a rebel. When I'm in a depressed mood, I always get a bunch of flowers and paint, just as a way of, of coming back to Earth. And when I came to, here to Sedona, I felt, gosh, I really want to do something that will, will continue the spirit that we felt with everybody helping each other in Boston. And uh, so at that time, a group of us started Gardens for Humanity. Basically, at that time, there was no gardening in any of the schools. There was a very, fact, very little gardening anywhere. And I realized that we, the only way we could do it would be as out of school afternoon programs. Well, the one that I've grown in a way to love most is the one at the Creative Life Center. What I liked about this garden is that we had many volunteers from different schools, the uh, Vidi uh, Valley School and from some of the high schools. And I had, you know, I told you, I'd, my, one of my sons married a Navajo, and we had a whole tribe that came and helped. And the fact is that now every mitzvah day, people come and we plant more bulbs. So it's grown as a garden that really a lot of people know and love. The earth itself is one huge garden, and it's the one that we're neglecting and destroying bit by bit. And I felt this is what I have to write about. So that was my first book was Our Sacred Garden, The Living Earth. You all come from some place, and I was very lucky to have had wonderful parents and wonderful relations and I, all my children give to me and I, now that I'm moving around like a, a large crab or a toad, I, I have lots of children helping out. They take turns granny sitting, it's wonderful.